Tulicheza na wao nyakati zetu. These are our age mates. Na tunawakaribisha sana. and gentlemen this is the second day the, the, the final day actually of the Kenya pipeline at 50 volleyball extravaganza here at the Moy International Stadium Kasarani and, and in the commentary desk it's yours truly Manu Legon and Florence Bosire joining you live from the Moy International Sports Center Kasarani where we'll be having the second match of the day the first one being Kwantase against Soweto well the players Taking the court right now, starting with the Kenya Commercial Band, Legends. Jazzy number two. Leon Deso for KCB. Eunice Mayo stepping in for KCB. Emma Nangami, Salome Wanjala. Those are the players that will be playing for KCB. Coming up shortly are the players for Kenya Pipeline Company. Number nine, Catherine Wanjiro. Wearing jersey number 11, Janet Wanja. And wearing jersey number 14, and who's also an international referee, Lucy Chege. Liberal player wearing jersey number 21, Faith Wanjala, and number 17, Masi Wesi Tula. Head coach, <laughs> head coach Judy Serenge. Thank you, referees, take over. Ladies and gentlemen, remember it's Kenya Pipeline Legends, KPC Legends versus KCB Legends. And yes, we are off to a good start here, um, ahead of course of the finals 
of uh, Kenya Pipeline versus Kenya Commercial Bank Women. Uh, but first, the cut and raiser of the finals of this um, Kenya Pipeline at 50 volleyball extravaganza is uh, this, uh, this match between uh, the legends of these two teams. Uh, of course, Kenya Pipeline Company are the this particular tournament. Florence Bosire, um, what do you think about uh, this match here? Well, this is bound to be a very, very exciting match. A lot of experience, a lot of wealth of knowledge on court today. It's, it's actually something that uh, is really rare to see, even in other sports. A lot of players who have represented this country in different capacities, some of them coaches in their own right, some even national coaches and national referees. It is indeed a pleasure to be here and witness this, uh, I think, historic event that is happening right here in Nyayo National Stadium. Again, I'm expecting a bit of uh, comedy, so to speak, <laughs> as we experience this match. Well, it serves off and we are off to quite a good start and like you say, we expect that uh, it's going to be an entertaining match as a precursor to the finals of the youngsters here. And uh, Kenya Pipeline Company have um, that first point. It's good to see that the current Kenya Pipeline coach is also on court playing. Indeed. Absolutely. Um, and that she will be sharing her experience with the players later on the touchline. Indeed. Uh, uh, basically, uh, <laughs> talking from experience. It's yes. only a demonstration of what they do. Janet Wanja playing in uh, the right, or is it is it opposite position? Yes. Uh, Ouna Esther, Ouna Esther also a renowned setter in the national team. Former player KCB subs. Esther receives it, Odoako. And it's Wanja who delivers that point. <laughs> Straight down the line there. Indeed, uh, interesting to see her attacking right now seeing that she had been uh, for a long time featuring for Kenya Pipeline as a setter and also the national team. Wanja with that service. Yeah, Salome service Wanjala. Wanja. Salome finishes it. Wesitula. Odoako. Shiro. Still in play. Lea Ndeso. Wanja. Wanja it. What's it and Lucy Chege. Be? It's out. Nice. It is on it's court. It's actually on court. And the line judge there confirms it. The KCB team there had um, actually started, uh, you know, saying that that ball was out of court. One just still. Kenya Pipeline maintaining an early lead. Immaculate. Nicely picked up again. The coach. A simple tap. That is experience in, play. in action. Unfortunately. Experience in action. <laughs> and there's quite a lot of life here in the arena that is slowly and steadily filling up. Uh, we're expecting more people come to come later on in the day, considering today's a Sunday and most of them are in church. But after that, uh, they will make their way here. Wanja with that service. Salome Wanjala doesn't manage, manage to save that service. Uh, Wanja again maintains the service. Currently, pipeline leading with a solid four point margin. Leandeso. Eunice Mayo, the current One. trainer KCB. Wanja picks it again, straight down the middle, but it goes out of court. So you're saying we have coaches here, we have trainers. Um, there's a lot of experience there on court. Wanja picks that really nicely. Obakodze there with that service. And right now. Wanjiru. Serves the pipeline. Leandeso picks it. Ouna. Emma doesn't manage to put that ball across the net. Unfortunately, giving uh, Kenya pipeline. 
an even bigger margin in that lead. Wanjiri with the service again. It is nicely picked there. It's a pipe nicely done, but uh, Wanja picks it up. The coach, again, that signature dodge there. Salome Still Wanjala. in play. The coach and... Uh, Lucy. Who will it be? Salome. Again, still in play. Coach goes for it. That but was an interesting <laughs> spin of the ball. Yes. Uh, again, like we've said, a continued display of uh, experience there. Three points between the two teams. Another service from the KCB side. Still Another out of hit. Court. Um, from the Kenya pipeline side. Look at that in slow, in uh, you know, that replay there. It this almost lands. almost looked like it would land on court. Wanja with that peak, Mildred Odoako, Esther Jebkosge is still in play. Mildred in, in her fashion. Uh, of the libero, Emma Nangami. It's a point. <laughs> I think the coach, uh, Kenya Pipeline, hesitated for a bit there. Um, you know, took an actual gamble. If you look at that in replay there, you can see that she, she had uh, second a thoughts a bit. about yes. going for that ball. Looking at their faces, you can tell that they're really, really exhausted. And it's just the beginning? It's just the beginning of the match. An easy pick. A safe play, unfortunately, it's not sufficient. Again, like I was saying, uh, they really look out of breath. You can tell by how they're playing and their movement and the breathing that this is really difficult for them. It's been years since they last stepped on a volleyball court to play. Let me confirm that. Yunis Mayo, still in play. Salome Wanjala, who will it be? That dunk uh, not quite going as expected. <laughs> and that margin has been narrowed to just one point ahead. Mildred Oduako, they're trying that. But like you said, it's not sufficient. Coach there is the Jeb Gay, current coach Kenya Pipeline. Uh, they're really acing their services, the KCB legions. Um, it is Bakari Halima on that service court and it's level here at the Kasarani Indo Arena where KCB legions are playing their KPC counterparts the coach there with that spin and the Leandeso fails to hit that ball across the net Esther Jebgosgei goes on to serve I think she's been doing a lot of services considering that she's a coach right now Let's see whether that will go as planned. Actually, shows in the way she handles that ball, the way she serves. It is Wanja now. The dodge. It's Again, capitalizing dodge. on the fact that they cannot really move right now. <laughs> that At agility least is, is long gone. It's missing. It's, <laughs> it's non existent right now. Look Again, at that dodge. Um, beautiful, beautiful dodge. Again, the service there from uh, Esther Jepkuske. Esther there. Again, Leandeso not having the jump that she, she used to back in the day when she played for Kenya Prisons. And we'd like to hear what you remember of these ladies during... Nice one. Odoako. Odoako oh, was, was a former, an... former libero. <laughs> that explains how, that explains why how she's she, yes. uh, really well uh, equipped with those those uh, dives and again with the position that she's playing like right now it will require a lot of running because nobody's going to receive that ball to the center Wanja. That, Wanja. oh she i think she had you know mixed thoughts there or just just the way she decides to one swing but it's not like a complete swing exactly i think she wanted to sort of dodge that ball again like she did in the first one. Absolutely. There's a late offense. And on the uh, part of the Kenya pipeline. 
It's a point for KCB now tied at 11. Each Esther Chipkoske with that spin. Emma Nangami picks it. Ouna, Leandeso, Wesitula, Mildred Odoako, Anja. Not the perfect does it set. Cross? No, Unfortunately, it doesn't. doesn't. Uh, trying to converse there. It is Emin Emanangami again on that service court. KPC side have given away the lead they've had for most part of there this goes the dodge. first set thus far. Not the finish Crosses expected. Over. Again, Ouna, Lea Deso. And Deso, the coach picks it. Chege. Wanja, Wanja is Salome Wanjala, not the perfect. There is a net offense again from Wanja there. First time out by the Kenya pipeline. Really, uh, a much needed time out for both teams, if you ask me. They <laughs> need to catch their breath. The first, uh, almost half of the first set really being very intensive for both teams. Wanja using those dodges to make sure that uh, the KCB team gets as exhausted as possible in order to really bring down their guard and ensure that they secure this first set. KCB on their side attempting to make those attacks, but they're turning out to be as successful as anticipated. Wait how this goes. This set. For Catherine Wanjiro. The ball crosses over to the other side. Wanjiro this time around spinning it again. Leandeso. Leandeso picks it. It is Makuto now. Ja decides to give it away easy. Will it come back easy though? We have seen what happens. Well, the referee <laughs> says play on. That looked like an offense, but. Again, Asha Makuto picks that ball. Lucy Chege, Wanjiro. Wanjiro goes for it. It's and, always uh, those, <laughs> those simple dodges and spins that are getting KCB. I think they expect those balls to be attacked. Look at that replay. Just a simple tap on that ball. There is an effort there from, I think, Nangami from Kenya Commercial Bank. Wanja. Still in play. Wanja. Oh, it is actually by still in Nagami. play. Yunis Mayo. Wanja. Wanja. Check. Actually, that is Wanjiro. <laughs> Nangami. Nangami. That middle flick. Just a simple flick there. And by the Kenya pipe behind. See, Thanks to Ruth. Ruth. Ruto. Yes. That is indeed Ruth. A dependable center blocker back in the day. She Asha currently Makuto. plays for the Bunge team, I think. No, she doesn't. Okay. No, I think you're mixing her up with uh, Dorcas Jepli team. Oh, yeah. I think they there's some kind sort of, of look similarity uh, there. Similar in a way. So Lea Deso goes on to serve for Kenya Commercial Bank. KPC have since bro actually narrowed the margin and equalized at 14-14. Anjiro Oba there. managing to block that ball. I don't Oba think it actually is, uh, crossed. 
it did not cross. <laughs> it seemed like it did from the way she jumped. But again, we... KCB get that point. Lea Deso with the service. Wanja with that oh, dodge. Uh, Nangami is quite agile. Really agile. The KPC side. Uh, but Ruth Ruto there again. Straight down the middle. And no one was there to pick it. Look at that replay there. Just off of the hands of Eunice Mayo, the current oh, trainer. Yeah. Kenya Commercial Bank. Yeah. Another substitution. Ruth Ruto is stepping out. And uh, Roslyn, another dependable center blocker back in the day, stepping on and goes on to serve. Roslyn Odhiambo there with that service. Salome Wanjala, Ouna with that dodge. And <laughs> Wanjiro stops her <laughs> right in her tracks. You can see the excitement on Wanjiro's face there. A lot of excitement. Having gotten that point, like we said, let us know what you remember about the legends during their prime time. Absolutely. And what you saw them do and what they are able to do now. And also tell us who you'd like to see on court. We have a rich, rich basket of legendary names. Still in play, the coach there. Oh, but with that pick, the setter too slow setter. in penetrating for that <laughs> ball. Anja goes to serve. Nicely picked by Gladys Wangoy. Oh, there that was is. quite a beautiful attack across court for the KCB legends. And the substitution by KCB Oba stepping out. Rukia Suleiman takes the court. A lot of players on the KCB side were former setters. That explains why the attack line is not quite as effective compared to that of Kenya Pipeline Company. What a beautiful Wanjiro. set from Wanja, if you Wonderful ask set. me, I think it's the number of years she's played for the national team there. Indeed. Coming in handy for the pipeline side. Wanjiro struggling to jump. I wish you would saw that replay barely getting off the ground. Salome Wanjala, or rather, Emma, Emma Nangami. Oh, well played by Emma. Ooh, but, uh, an expensive mistake. That one is quite a painful one. That really painful one. Lack of coordination there between Halima Bakari and uh, her colleague Salome Wanjala. Wanjiru with that service. Emma Nangami. Nangami. Nicely picked. Situla. Wanja. Who will it be? Coach. Still That's in play. <laughs> Lucy Chege, Lea picks it. Mayo, not so sufficient. Who will it be? Asha oh, Makuto. Makuto there. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see Asha back. I would say on form, having watched her in the past play. Look at but that. But it really is something. There. That is the first attack she's making, really. And the fact that she's able to oh. even jump higher than Wanjiru. Than most can. of her <laughs> other teammates. You can see it's actually both teams see. all smiles. Wearing such a bright smile on her face. Makuto. And I think she's representing the family. She's playing for the family name as well. A total of six Makutos in the volleyball world right they now. Have, they have really contributed a lot to a lot the sport in a major way. Back on court, the last action there being that attack by uh, Makuto. That sent everyone in stitches, really. Uh, and like we said, it's shaping up to be a very entertaining match. 
seconds. He hear the resounding laughter after such an attack. It's a block out by Lucy Chege. Good Salome well. Wanjala goes to serve for KCB. Salome Wanjala is actually a national coach right now. She is the one of the coaches in the Kenya Beach Volleyball team. Lucy Chege. Oh, now with that be Mayo. Still in play. Who will it be? Wesitula with that finish. Again. Salome Wanjala. Esther Ouna. Too close to the net. But Lea manages. Ooh. Coach there. <laughs> Taking advantage. Looking at those open spaces there. And it really does help that she's tall. It just required a simple spin. Making another change. That is uh, Ruth, Ruth Ruto, Ruto steps in in place of Rosalind Odiambo. Is there another substitution? I don't think so. Is that, That's just Asha Makuto welcoming Ruto back on court. It's really interesting to watch these players play years after they stopped. Halima Bakari, Salome Wanjala. Almost Wanja. Oh, Seems okay. to be a problem with... Uh, it's a, double, it's a touch. double touch. And the coach there, Emma Jefkoske, going Again, to contest that. It's important <laughs> to realize that most of this change in uh, rules were not present when they were playing. Oh, yeah. They, so they really cannot relate playing. with what is happening now. Makuto again. It did that was a close go across. one. Ruth Ruto, Wanja. Ruto, ah. Ooh. the frustration. Good attempt there by Makuto again. She still, really she still has best. it. The it's still somewhere. There. <laughs> still somewhere, though he did, but it's still somewhere. But I, I'm sure the, the, the heart is willing, but the body uh, is saying no. Lema Bakari with the service from KBC, KCB and Wanja again. It's an easy dig there. Situla, who is the current, I think, team manager for the Kenya Pipeline volleyball team right now. Like we said yesterday, it's really encouraging to see that transition happen. It's from a beautiful playing. thing, actually. To allow your former players to be able to take up those roles. Gladys Wangoi, uh, with that uh, not-so-good reception. Another timeout again. In the Kenya... Commercial Bank Legions, KCB, with that second timeout. And uh, we have a look at that again. KPC coach there with that service that uh, the KCB Legions could not pick it up. It really, really looks like a hard one. Kenya commercial back with that psych and agreeing to continue fighting there. Seem to be a change there in the number of sets that are going to be played. The announcement just came through that it would be a best of uh, three. I, Initially, I... they had indicated that all five sets would be played. Beautiful attempt there by Wanja. But it's not sufficient. Well, KPC just two points shy of taking the first set. KCB trailing again by two points at 21. Wanja Emma again. Nangami with that service. Lucy Chege picks it. Wanja Asha Makuto again. <laughs> the heart wants, the body says no. She but it is the wit, I think, for me. Uh, everyone absolutely. expects that she's going to hit that ball hard. Then she just spins it. Absolutely. Um, over the blocking line there. Makuto with the service. It's a nice one. She Asha picks it again. It. Wanja. Mayo. Halima Bakari. It did go that across the net. did not go across the net. Unfortunately, it did not go. Uh, the and fans that's here the end. are clapping. Each side, of course, cheering their own. At the, the end, end of the day, of it is the first uh, set. 
And uh, Kenya Pipeline manages to pocket that set at 25-21. Uh, interesting match here. <laughs> A lot of laughter and I think uh, excitement from the fans who have, some of whom have witnessed these players play volleyball in their prime. Right now, just a shadow of themselves, but trying nonetheless. I'm sure Leo Gioni, there'll be a lot of hot water. And massages. <laughs> that announce again coming back. Makuto there entertaining the fans. I think at the back of her mind, she knows that uh, she is also playing for that family name. It's beautiful to see the agility that she still has. And it's a um, very entertaining match for the fans here as they wait for the finals of the men and women categories that are going to follow after this one. Uh, the fans there are watching and the stadium is filling up slowly but surely. Kenya Pipeline Company organizing this to celebrate 50 years of their existence. And this, of course, coming you to you live on the Homeboys TV and also Homeboys channel on YouTube. Everyone excited as they watch this match on the stands. And as they get entertained by these legions of both sides actually that made it to the finals, Lawrence, it would have been different to play this if uh, Kenya Pipeline hadn't made it to the finals, considering really, their host really of this particular have tournament. Been really, really disappointing. But Especially yesterday, that match against Kenya Pipeline that was, or rather Kenya Prisons that was literally a turnaround from yep. uh, what it looked in the beginning and a new lease of life given to Kenya Pipeline after securing that one set after Kenya Prisons took the first set of the match. A lot of surprises in this uh, competition. The same happening for TVC against the General Service Unit who are regulars in the finals of really any match that has been played. Again, we're back with the second set of uh, the Kenya Pipeline at 50 Cup Championship, the Legions facing it off. Kenya Pipeline Company Legions against Kenya Commercial Bank. Kenya Pipeline having secured the first set, 25-21. shaping up here to be in an entertaining match um, they go to serve Kenya Commercial Bank uh, the line judges they are raiding themselves and the second referee confirming that the lineup that he was given is the right one first set ended 25-21 in favor of Kenya pipeline legions and we wait to see if this second set uh, if KCB are going to pull a comeback like what we've seen Masi Wesitula takes the court replacing Wanjiro the libero And it will be Leia Ndeso who will be serving for KCB. Esther picks it, Wanja, not ah, the best was, uh, set from Wanja. Catching Ruth off guard. The coach there picking that up really nicely, but uh, Ruth Ruto. I think Wanja just takes that as her fault. Still with the service KCB. Again, the coach. Emma Jeff Kosuge picks it. Makuto. Simple spin. They couldn't Ladison agree again. Boy. Confusion but the libero setting. picks it. Lucy Chege, Wanja. Still in play. Makuto. Makuto. Waits, observes. 
not the best of uh, picks there. Where's it to la pick it? Esther. Makuto. Again, it's a simple <laughs> tap. Mashira with that attack. And it flies Does out, fly of, out court. of court. Uh, it's a beautiful display. A Look very at that nice replay. Display. The swing was right, but just too much power. Wanja with that service. And uh, they were not able to pick that up. There, Kenya. Lesson there. Actually, Lea and Deso, I beg your pardon, failing to pick that ball. Wanja, Wanja with the service once again. Halima. Lea and Deso, Wanja. Lea from the back out there. Lucy Chege. Makuto. Asha Makuto again. It's coming back slowly but surely. Pick it again. The coach, Boilet Kenya Pipeline. Makuto. Again. That beautiful play. finish. Ladis Wangoi says it. <laughs> It will be Leia Ndeso to finish it. Nicely picked again. Wanja once again. Ball is too uh, close but, to the uh, net. It's too close to call. And it's called by the referee. Back Yet on level again. terms. Halima Bakari with that serve. Wanja, who will it be? Wanjiro. Oh, Wanjiro is back on court. Halima. Marianne, Makuto picks it up. Is it Makuto? Yes, it is. Still in play. Well, according to the referee, it did not go across the net. A lot of difficulty jumping today. <laughs> but great effort nonetheless. A lot of effort. From uh, Asha Makuto. It's an overpass. And, uh, and yet again, that jumping bit not really coming to play. Like the heart wants, it really wants. But the body decides, no, it's not happening. Mashira with that. Gladys Ongoy, who will it be? Salome Wanjala, oh. beating them at their own game. Ruth Ruto there wasn't able to go after that. Look at her attempting. There was no catching that. KCB with another service. Makuto picks it nicely. Wanjiru sets Chege. it. Uh, is it out? Chege with that attempt, but it goes court. out of court. And uh, KCB Legions um, slowly pulling away, leading with two points. The scores are uh, KCB at five, KPC three. Another service by. Uh, KCB, Asha picks it nicely. Chege with that Chege. spin, it's still in play. Well picked Chege by the Libero. Chege again. Le and Deso. Nice Alima Bakari. Oh, Salome they... Wanjala really trying to hit that ball along the line. But it doesn't go across the net. Asha Makuto goes on to serve. Asha Makuto with that service. Looks like it was flowing out of court. Salome Wanjala again trying a replica of what she did earlier on. Esther Jepkoske, a simple spin. It's on court. Really looking to make sure that the positioning of this team, Kenya Commercial Bank Legends, and then knowing really where to place that ball. Asha Makuto back at the service. Mayo picks it. A simple spin. Well picked. Asha Makuto. The coach is really not jumping. She's yeah. using her height and uh, the spin of that ball. Yes. It's almost like what we saw yesterday with the prison side um, with Mayo, I think. Indeed, um, indeed. Taking advantage of the height there. Oh, they're making a change. Seems to be a change. Lea Ndeso steps out and in comes Emma Nangami. And Mashira still at the service court. Asha Makuto. Makuto. Wanja. Oh, Chege. Very quick hit down the middle there. We are back, basically. Coordination, seeing, uh, beautiful coordination there. 
And the jump is there. Yes, it, it is. It really is there. Look at that replay. And KPC have uh, finally caught up with uh, the scores. Six each. Salome Wanjala. Wanjiro. Wanjiro picks it. Wanja. Ah. Uh, Lucy Another Chege attempt. being too fast. <laughs> Another attempt at uh, playing that middle ball there. Doesn't go as planned. Chege picks it. Too close to the net, but Chemutai manages to finish it, though it goes out of court. Oh, that was a close one. Wanjala serving that ball on the net. Ruth Ruto steps back in. KCB 8. Kenya Pipeline 7. Another error in service from the KPC side. They go to serve KCB. It is Musembi, the captain, Damaris. And uh, it's another error. And the scores stand at 9 for Kenya Pipeline and KCB. It's actually I eight for Kenya area. Pipeline, KCB nine. Chemtai with that service. Picked by Salome, Halima, Mayo. Oh, that is locked by Ruth. Beautiful defense there. Ruth Ruto and Wanja. It's a nice combination. Gladys Wangoi picking that. Emma Nangami. Still in play. Wanja, Ruto, Gladys. Eunice Mayo with that dodge. Still in play. Nicely saved there by Asha Makuto. You can see her Gladys running back Wangoi to again. defend. Emma Nangami. Asha. Chege. Halima. Ruth. Still in play. Miraculously Eunice picked. Mayo. It's going to be. Water. Emma Nangami. Ah. <laughs> Shaping up to be a very beautiful rally there. Very oh, interesting. Play Tries going yeah. down again. The second incident we are seeing. She is the most agile, I think, of that group. Indeed, indeed she is. Chege picks it. Ruth Ruto. Ruth Ruto with that simple tap of the ball. Very little jumping involved. And a whole lot of height. <laughs> That right. is really, really working for the Kenya Pipeline side. A lot of tall individuals it's on the court. It's the score that counts. Either it's the way. score that counts. Slipping by the libero there. Wanja, Wanja. again. Makuto. Trying Was there a net as touch? much as she can not to touch the net. Salome saves it. Wanja, Wanja looks Gladys Wangoi with that save. opportunity. Who will it be? Emma Nagami. Oh. Not really prepared for that <laughs> ball. The set are trying to diversify there and even play those balls from the backcourt. But uh, they're not able to take advantage of that. In the quest, I think, to confuse that blocking line by KPC. We are seeing Wanja playing really well here. Gladys Wangoi. Salome Wanjala. Attack. Wanja with that oh, set. Wanjiru. Wanjiru. Again, Gladys with that save. Can they agree to... Another one. Makuto. Asha Makuto. And it's a left hand finish. Flick. And a total lack of communication. Look at, Look at the, that. Nobody attempted. The thumbs up after that score is what is exciting. Absolutely. And the fans here continuing to get entertained. Another point there. I think beautiful service from Wanza. Very wonderful service from Wanja. She, it's a, the scores are Kenya Pipeline 13, KCB 10. It's a timeout for the Kenya Commercial Bank side. Legends there. Uh, the coach is having that conversation with them. And we are going to cross over there. Sort of try and listen in. 
to what they are going to say. They are being. Ladies, they are trying to re-energize, and it's time for them to get back on court. I think both teams are really depending on the few players who are still active in volleyball in different capacities, but still active. It goes a long way in uh, helping the team. Uh, the desperation with uh, the little movement that is happening on court. The likes of Wanja, Salome Wanjala, Eunice Mayo, who are still actively involved in the volleyball field right now, uh, going a, a whole lot of way in saving the team right now. Does it cross? Oh yes, it does. And uh, Ruth Ruto there is present. Wanja again with the service. Four scores ahead. Kenya pipeline. Let's pick it nicely. KCB. Chege tries setting it. Makuto with that finish. What's it going to be? Goes out of court. But the second referee thinks that there was a net offense. It actually goes out of court, but uh, the second referee with that ruling doesn't quite cross over. And Luanja is having that conversation with uh, Asha Makuto there. On what should have happened. KCB the service again. Chege picks it up nicely. 1 0 with that spin. Still in play. Nicely picked up again by 1 0. Makuto this time around. Makuto, a simple spin. Another door. Salome Wanjala trying the same Makuto. thing she did. Makuto. And it is avoids. in court. <laughs> I think this is one of the hardest hits that we've seen in this match. She is getting there slowly but surely. Look at that replay. Goes for the long diagonal there, hitting it across court. There is a change by Kenya Commercial Bank. Halima steps out for Karo. And uh, the other change is for Jen Mwai and Ruth Ruto. That is a change that just happened. Do we have uh, any comments online, Flo? Well, uh, a lot of us, uh, Albert is saying that he was lucky enough to see all of the, the players on court today in their heydays so i'm sure he's really enjoying what is happening on court today uh timo is asking uh, the final match uh, for the men kepa versus trailblazers timings we are not sure about that but it will indeed be the last match of the day we'll communicate with you on when it will start just keep it locked keep checking the homeboys radio youtube channel Uwanja steps, steps out, out. Being replaced by Beatrice Koba, who is the captain of that team. A legend in our own right, Koba. KCB with that service, nicely picked up. Look at that set. Onjiro, Onjiro playing Mayo it high. Pick. Mashira zip Still spin. picked up. Again, it will be Onjiro. Onjiro decides to spin it. There is another net offense, and uh, KCB are catching up. It's only one point now that is left. Look at that replay there. It's a block touch. And the KCB scores again. are really looking uh, interesting in this set. It's not predictable. And that like beautiful, beautiful attempt dive. by Koba there. Koba could easily be in her 50s, if you ask me right now. It's been For long sure. since these players graced the court. 
and interesting to see that they still can actually try and do it despite the long time. Kenya Pipeline timeout. It's level here. 15-15. And it's a point for a point with Kenya Commercial Bank pulling a catch-up. But that is what's happening here. Such a beautiful display of the game, even after several years of being out of court. But they are, you know, playing competitively in this particular match. There's really a lot that can be learned by the younger players right now, seeing that even after so long, they still can do something on court. Oba with that attempt Asha at saving Maputo. that. But uh, that coordination there didn't work. If Kenya Commercial Bank win this set, then the set that would follow would be the last one. Indeed, uh, actually, if Kenya Pipeline sees... Uh, indeed, it's a it's best, best of three. Of three? Yes. So yes, if it's 1-1, one, one, then they'll have to go for the decider. But if uh, Pipeline and, managed uh, to pocket this... Wanjiro failing to finish that. And you can see her having the conversation there with Koba, asking her to just set that ball high. KCB have been consistent with that service. Um, and just before I completed that sentence, she serves it on the net. It's Makuto there going to serve. Is Wanjiro who is stepping out to be replaced by Chepkoech Chumo. Chepkoech Chuma. Some of these steps uh, in there. faces have not been seen for a decade. There's an issue so. there with the handling of that, that ball. The referee calls it. Makuto with the service. I think there's an issue with the scores there. Wonderful save there. There's, there's a, a touch. net offense by Wait the Kenya Commercial Salome Bank side. Wanjala had her hands on, those, on, the, on the net in an attempt to dunk that ball. Asha Makuto, now just a simple standing serve. She was well known for powerful jump service back in the day. Another issue again there with the ball handling um, by the Kenya Commercial Bank side. Wanja, I think, will come back. And uh, both teams, I think, are making substitution in as far as their setting department is concerned. And it's 18-18. Halima Bakari comes back on court. An interesting uh, comment here by Elijah Busiri, the setter for the Kenya Post Authority that will be playing the final later on, saying that uh, it's an interesting match and he's getting tips for his final match later in the day. The Libero Kenya Pipeline wasn't able to pick that up. Look at that. Nice hit. And it's KCB back in the lead. It's just a point. Makuto tries to dive in and pick that up. But uh, she sends that ball flying out of court. Kenya Commercial Bank really banking on their services. And they're really, there. really, really coming. KCB banking Handy. on their services. <laughs> <laughs> I saw what you did that. What you did there. <laughs> Indeed, and it's really paying off interest with interest. Mashira. With that, Makuto this time around picking it up, picking it up nicely. Shage. Slip it there. By Mayo. And uh, eventually, Emma Nangabi it is Nangabi being who is careful, not able. but rather too careful. <laughs> Numbers here are growing as far as the 
fan base is concerned. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Uh, consulting there to just check if it is the right person who is at the service court. And it seems like so. They are allowed, each team is allowed to consult if they feel like they have Too close a to the net, Salome Wanjala. There. From a distance, you can see Kenya Pipeline stepping into the arena as they're ready to play the finals against KCB. The youngsters now, another error in service by the Oilers, the bankers leading by just a point and it is crucial because if the bankers lose this one then the match ends it's there over. salome wanjala service. with that service asha makuto picks asha it makuto and goes steps in nicely on the oh, ground what a beautiful hit there mayo with that pick emma nangami, nangami. the simple dodge that goes for it wanja Shege. lucy chege it's a point it. another one of the very few hard hits that we've seen that is effective. Look at that replay. And one of the, I think one of the very few players on court who are actually jumping. For sure. Alima Bakari not managing Alima. to make that set. And, and now, it's 22 for Kenya Pipeline and 21 for KCB. They are, they are yet to secure a point after that 21 point mark. I remember yes. KPC were trailing at 20 when they got 21 gaining two consecutive points, taking Man, them. Four mm -hmm. substitutions, KCB. Another error in service by uh, Chege there. And if things continue as they are, the final substitution, I think, by KCB. Musembi Damaris stepping out for Rukia Suleiman. Rukia serving really well. There's it a, is a touch block of touch. that block. Yunis Mayo trying as much as she can to block that ball. Unfortunately, it's not sufficient. That and ball. There's, we have the replay of, again, another wonderful attack from uh, Kenya Pipeline. Cheruto there with the service. Halima. Leandeso, Chege. Still in play. Wanja with that set. Will it be Makuto. Asha Makuto? Goes out of court. Goes out of court, but it's a beautiful, beautiful attempt for Very beautiful attempt. Makuto. The consistency, I think, is what counts. Look at that jump. Absolutely. And we are 23-23. Who will it be? Will this be the final set? We wait and uh, see. Chege, Chege picks with it that up. Pick. Wanja Asha goes for it. It is Makuto now. And this time around, her signature move. <laughs> she was really known Look at to. The way she celebrates that. Do a lot of Makuto that. With a broad, broad, broad smile on her face. I think she might have gotten a slight injury on her fingers. But uh, it's set point for Kenya, Kenya Pipeline. Pipeline. What Alima. will it be? Mayo. It is still in play. Asha. It will be Asha. Makuto. A simple spin once again. Gladys. Oh, they Mayo, couldn't agree Mashira. on that. Oh, it is over. Very unfortunate. 25-23 <laughs> this time round it is. 25 -23. An improvement, I think, A from what we saw. Look at that replay. Major improvement. KCB, ah. I think, put up the fight for this particular set. In the first set, they did take the lead and somehow lost it along the way. Well, congratulations to the Kenya Pipeline girls for winning this competition. And uh, again, congratulations to KCB. I know it took quite something to bring them on court today. A lot of effort. They put up a fight. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough. And so one, two, three, four. they conceded one, two. Yeah. that last set. And it went to the host, really, of this uh, championship, the Kenya Pipeline Company.
We will be joining my colleague Emmanuel Yegon shortly for the interviews with uh, both captains for both teams and maybe also the coaches. Get a feel and uh, a listen to what they feel and really how they think uh, the game has progressed, changed uh, maybe over the years since they last played and uh, a lot of changes having happened over the years. And finally, right now, having experienced the new volleyball that it is right now, there's a lot of changes that have happened over the years. The captain, KPC, soon to join my colleague and speak to the experience on court today. I know there will be a lot of eggs at the end of the day, but it was worth it, at least for KPC, as they've managed to win in this first match of its kind that we've witnessed here at the Moe International Sports Centre, Kasarani. We'll be joining uh, the captain soon. Celebration, pomp and colour as the president, Kenya Volleyball Federation, Mr. Charles Nyaberi, joined by other dignitaries in the Kenya Volleyball Federation in congratulating the Kenya Pipeline legends for that Beautiful, beautiful win. Well, uh, coming up shortly will be the first semi final, the ladies' semi final, featuring, ironically, again, Kenya Commercial Bank and uh, Kenya Pipeline Company uh, as they battle it out uh, to determine who takes the who takes the final title of the inaugural Kenya Pipeline at 50 Cup Championship. The perfect cherry on the cake for Kenya Pipeline by that win. We wait to see the captains for both teams listening in. And soon on screen again, there we have it, the president. The president saying a hearty congratulations to KCB. Yagon will be taking it away shortly with the Kenya Pipeline. Captain, right, and take it away. Been one of the most yeah, entertaining on. matches that we've watched, pitting the legends of Kenya Pipeline Company and uh, Kenya Commercial Bank against each other. Of course, we've seen that Kenya Pipeline Company have won this match two sets to nil uh, because it was a best of three match. And we are going to have a conversation with one of the legends who is also the team manager of the youngsters now, um, Masi Wesutia. Um, Karibu sana. Let me ask you one question, actually. When was the last time you were on court? And how does it feel having been back on court and played and won um, this match? Uh, actually, it feels very refreshing. Uh, we always have a gym at our place, so we always keep fit. But it has taken quite a while to make both teams meet to play in a competitive environment. So today was one of our days to test our ability to come back to the game. And we are very happy we have won 2-0 against the KCB Legends. I think it is a very beautiful precursor to the match that is going to come here next with the youngsters now uh, that you are coaching. Of course, you've said you are the team manager, assistant team manager for the young um, team. Um, what are your expectations as you know, we're ready for that final match? Uh, we are going in for a win. Uh, our team is agile. They are very, very fit now. Now that we are preparing to go for the Africa Club Championship, we have trained well, and we believe that today is going to be our day to carry this trophy, most especially when we are celebrating our 50 years of being in existence. So we are very, very optimistic that we are going to carry this trophy back to KPC. Right. Asante Sana and congratulations Thank in the you. finals. Thank you. We're going to have a conversation again with the Kenya Commercial Bank captain, legends captain, or coach, sorry, uh, Judy Musinya Karibu Sana Judy 
uh, Asante Sana for joining us and it's been a beautiful display by the ladies, the legions, if you may. And as you coach them, I mean, what was, was these the expectations that you had before, you know, when the match began? No, we were hoping for a win, but you know, game, you win the villain, I end up, winner, kuna loser. So, we appreciate, we've enjoyed, they've enjoyed. So next, we are going to do our best. We won't be number two, we'll be number one now. Okay, I don't know if you have any interactions with the younger team, and maybe what are your expectations for them towards, you know, as they head towards uh, the finals? Um, I'm from KCB, referee, so for that I cannot comment because I'm a referee now. Okay, so there's a bit of uh, yeah. conflict of interest there, but Asante Sana, all the best in the... All right, Asante Sana. Thank you. All right, and right about now we are going to be joined by the president of the Kenya Volleyball Federation, um, Mr. Charles Nyaberi, aweze kuzungumza pia kuhusiana na tournament nzima and the entire volleyball fraternity. Um, Mr. President, thank you so much for joining us thank and uh, glad to have you here. Um, your comment generally about the entire organization of this tournament and what you think, uh, how it helps in just building the teams, considering the fact that the ladies and even the gentlemen are preparing for the African Club Championships. Thank you very much uh, uh, as a federation and uh, specifically the National Executive Committee. We are very, very excited and we welcome this particular tournament with both hands for several reasons. First of all, it was very strategically timed. It comes at a time when six of our top clubs are going to go for Africa Cup Club Championships in Cairo. So this is a very good preparation. On top of that, it also marks the beginning of the preparation phase for our Malikia strikers who have qualified to represent Africa in the uh, Olympic Games in, in uh, August. So we are using it besides uh, using it to brush up a few things for the clubs. We are also using it for the members of the team of the Malikia strikers who are, you know, who are in the various clubs to also start get a kickstart kickstart their training as it is. So it's very good and the standards are very high. And there are also some light moments like the ones for the legends. The legends is not just a light moment. We intend, it's a policy of the new executive committee to retain our players when they stop playing, when they quit top flight volleyball. We want them to transition into other roles. We want to retain them within the, the fold of Kenya Volleyball. So it's a way of attracting them, a magnet attracting them to come and join us and remain with us. And perhaps, uh, Mr. President, now that we are seeing the companies like Kenya Pipeline Corporation, Kenya Commercial Bank uh, hosting tournaments like this, are there plans um, by the Federation, for instance, to be able to hold such um, tournaments on a regular, aside from, aside from the National League? Yeah, actually, we we are already plans are afoot and uh, proposals have already gone out to quite a number of uh, the corporates. Some of them are already sponsoring us indirectly because they have uh, fielded teams. They have teams whom they are spending on, but we also have we have approached them so that we can have more of these uh, uh, en encounters because they keep the teams on their toes and as you will notice this particular the theme for this particular Kenya pipeline at 50 was to also uh, try and use the best facilities the standard facilities that's why 95 percent of the matches were played indoors so that the players can acclimatize and for future uh, purposes we can also you know, it, when they go out for international competitions, the conditions, the playing conditions will be the same. But our, our doors are open and we're reaching out to any of the corporates, whether they have teams with our, within our fold or not, to come forward and sponsor uh, tournaments like this, so that our players can be kept fit and be, can be kept active. Thank you so much, Mr. President. Thank you. And all the best with the plans that uh, the Federation is making. Thank you. Charles Neberi, the president of Kenya Volleyball Federation, ladies and gentlemen. And that uh, marked the end of that match between legions uh, for KCB and Kenya Pipeline Cooperation. Um, 
of course, sponsored by Kenya Pipeline Company, who have won this match uh, between, you know, the legends of their team and those of Kenya Commercial Bank. And the match that is coming up next is the finals between KCB again and Kenya Pipeline Company. Um, but just before that, we are going to have a conversation with the sponsors themselves, the sponsors of this particular tournament. Um, and yes, just joining us right now is an official of the Kenya Pipeline Company. Kindly introduce, introduce um, yourself, tell us your name and what you do at Kenya Pipeline. Yes, I'm Dina Kirua, the General Manager for Human Resource and Administration at Kenya Pipeline. Okay, why, why are you doing this? Why did you see the need to be to be able to do this um, tournament or this championship, if you may. And what is it that stands out for Kenya Pipeline Company as you mark your 50 years of existence? Yes, we uh, Kenya Pipeline marked a 50 years anniversary last year in September, and we lined up a number of activities as part of our celebration. And as you know, Kenya Pipeline um, has, has been supporting volleyball and they have one of the best teams in this country. And that's one of the areas that was identified as part of supporting sports in the country. Uh, and we plan that we are going to sponsor, to sponsor the, the tournament so that we can bring the various teams together. And as, it's also very, very important that as we were planning, we wanted to make sure that yes we have the next generation of uh, volleyballers and that's why we brought the high schools we have the current players and then we have the trail blazers those are the the teams and the names that were household sometimes back just as a way of uh, looking at volleyball from the former generations who are now mentors who are supporters who are referees who are coaches and also looking at the current teams who we are supporting that uh, uh, represent the country and build the football and also looking to the future in terms of uh, the next generation in high schools and hopefully uh, they will be inspired as they play in the same place with the current um, volleyballers who are really national, uh, out, who has a national outlook in nature. For Pipeline, we support uh, sports, we are a sporty organization and we have supported stops, uh, sports for a very, very, very long time and we want to continue supporting stops, uh, sports and a lot of programs and investments uh, now and uh, to the future. The things I think that um, around the issue of uh, corporate, corporate social responsibility and one of the things that I've um, sort of known is that even the ball managers around the court, uh, you know, young boys and girls uh, whom you are supporting, why is it so important for you to be able to support not only just the volleyball uh, fraternity, the young ones and the legends that you are bringing together in a very, very beautiful fashion for that transition? Why is it important for the company to be able to be engaged in such projects? Yeah, we, we do cooperate social responsibility in several ways. Um, I'm sure that you know we have a foundation and in the foundation we are doing many, many activities. We are supporting different programs. We are uh, cutting across different sectors. We support education, uh, we, support, uh, we support health and we support the many, many health facilities and many other programs that we support. But again, uh, we are a community organization and you know part uh, of our key roles is uh, the, the vision and, and what we do on a daily basis is transportation of fuel, which cuts across communities across the country. So community is very key for us and therefore we have programs that are specifically targeted to the communities and therefore we support and, and that's why one of the schools in Soweto, which is our neighborhood, was um, able to participate today as part of uh, our celebration of the 50 years. So we do a lot of community um, support in different aspects and uh, the support of the school is just one of them. But we do quite a number because community is part of us and it's part of what we do. Right. Thank you very much. Um, ladies and gentlemen, you just heard from the Kenya Pipeline Company themselves on the reasons why they do what they do and even why they sponsored this particular tournament as they mark their 50 years of existence. We are going to cross over just in a bit to the final match of this um, tournament and we are going to bring you highlights 
uh, right now of just the match that just ended. But it is Kenya Commercial Bank and Kenya Pipeline Company who are coming up next.